I'm Salmaster Kayla. Join me, world champ Ava Mattia Lawrence, and supermodel Adrian Curry for a show with balls and sticks. Ball Breakers on GSN. The network for games. Ball Breakers, next on GSN. GSN. Tonight, it's the most exciting and competitive game of pool on television. As four hustlers from America's top pool halls square off against each other for $20,000 cash. This is Ball Breakers. Welcome, everybody. I'm Sal Masakela. Each of the four pool hustlers behind me, they're going to be staked with $5,000 cash. You want to meet them? Well, let's do so. First, a delivery driver from Smithtown, New York, Blair Lewandowski. A bartender from Detroit, Michigan, Julie the Ivory Princess Melman. A DJ from Perth Amboy, New Jersey, little Joey Landy. And she's a sales manager from Santa Monica, California's April Yee. In less than an hour, all $20,000 is going to belong to just one of them. Doesn't that sound great? Yeah. We also have our resident pool expert, WPBA national champion, Hall of Famer, Ava Mattia Lawrence. Hey, Sal. Hello, Ava. I got news for you, Sal. We have an amazing bunch of players over there. These guys can really dab it. And the only question left is, who can handle the pressure? So a lot of skill. Who's got the mental toughness? Exactly. Thank you, Ava, You're the Viking. Welcome. That's not all. We've got America's next top model, the first winner, the lovely Adrian Curry. I think we actually kind of compliment each other today. Yes, we do. Want to go out later? I don't know how your boyfriend will feel about that. <laughs> Are you ready for a good show? I'm ready for a great show. All right, girl, let's do it. Whew. We're going to play three rounds of nine ball, and one by one, players will be eliminated until only one person's going to walk out of here with the 20 grand. And here's how we play nine ball. Each ball is numbered one through nine. The cue ball must hit the lowest number ball on the table first. Now, if any ball goes in any pocket, the player keeps on shooting. If a player fouls or scratches, the opponent gets ball in hand. And whoever sings that nine ball wins. Everybody gets to play in round one. But when it's over, the two players with the lowest bankroll will play in the sudden death elimination game. That will decide who gets to move on and who has to find another pool hall to try and scratch in, OK? Now, a few minutes ago, April, one of Santa Monica's finest, come on down, girl. She won table control. My family would rather that I pick up golf. However, I, I just have pool at heart. So good luck to them. Guys think that girls can't play pool is really motivating for me. So I really like playing, and I really like beating guys. I'm just that good. <laughs> who would you like to play? First, and for how much? Blair for 1500 Blair for 1500 Blair, how you feel about that? Is that a bet? I give it a shot. When I get into a groove, I like to bebop. I got bop up and down. So I've met the competition, and uh, I feel that the less you talk to them, the more intimidating you're going to be later on. Uh, I played with uh, New York's best at one time, and uh, I think I could beat the competition here. At this time, the floor is now open to side betting. Side bets can be made on any aspect of the game, and they are increments of $500. Joey and Julie, you want to spend some money to make money? I'll take Blair for 500 Blair for 500 Joey, you want a piece of that? Hmm. Hmm. April, yeah, you can I take it, too, you know. I don't know if I want to make that bet. I'll you take it? April's I'll not scared. Take She'll take it. $500. She's going to take $500 on herself. Good luck. Let's break some balls. <laughs> on the snap. <laughs> on the snap, April. Well, she made the six ball. That was a sweet break right there, Sal. I think she came to play. One ball right by the side pocket. How great is that? And then the two is fairly close to the corner. Oh. Oh, well, that was, she just jumped right up there. <laughs> you don't want that? No, no. I have a feeling Blair's going to let her shoot again. Snooker behind that, too. Got to give it back. That's one of the most interesting rules in ball break, because you can give the shot back. There is no defense. April did not hit the one ball, so now it's ball in hand for big, bad play. 
Well, I love this rule because it takes so much of the luck out of it. Yeah. You know what Bro does for a living? Yeah. He drives the hostess truck. You know, like the Twinkies and the Ding Dongs. You're kidding. And the whole host. Yes, he's my oh, idol. the Ding Dongs. Mine too now. <laughs> but don't get it twisted. He's, he's, he's no crumb cake. He's got game. <laughs> He does have game. You can see his stroke right here. Just getting on this three was tough enough. It's buried there by the five. Look at this. He can shoot a double shot here. Make the four ball in the corner and at the same time make a carom on this nine. A carom. It's a twofer, a billiard. In other words, the cue ball after contact goes into the nine. And make it, ooh, he got a little greedy there. He should have just made sure he made that four ball, and nine goes in great, but you gotta make sure you make the baseball. She's looking at where the five is right now. The five's tied up with the seven, clear at the other side of the table, so even making this four ball is gonna do her no good, because the five ball is right behind that seven. Pikachu. Again, Blair's giving it back to her because the nine's in the way. She snuck it. Nine ball's in the way. She has to kick at it. And... No. He's got, this is a tough one here, Sal. He's got a combination, four, five, but it's mm -hmm. not easy by any means. So, But it's not really a shot you want to give up. Oh. Good shot, Blair. Yeah. I had a chance to play him before, and he's a little nervous, but you can't tell by the way he's playing. I mean, he's really playing great. Powerful stroke. Yeah. All right, he's, he should be there, Sal. That was great. A lot of green, no problem. Hey, uh, just a little update. $3,000 this game is, plus $500 you'll make, Julie, and the all-important win. Good luck. Thank you. Yeah. Congratulations. We we'll call it the walk. Thank you. <laughs> All right, you're on a roll. You got yourself a win. Who are you going to play next, and for how much? You know, I'm thinking that, uh, that, that Julie just won $500 off me, and I may want a piece of that. I want some of that power. Hey, that's not, that's not bad thinking, audience. How much? I'll go with $1,000. $1,000 on Julie. Julie. I'm going to play for two. $2,000. That's a bet. I've been playing pool for eight years, and they call me the Ivory Princess. I tried telemarketing and a couple of other cubicle jobs, but I think I may have lasted just a couple of days. It wasn't the greatest job in the world. I definitely prefer to play pool. April, Joey. I'll play with you. I bet you Julie beats him. 500. $500 on Julie. You want a piece of Joey? Yeah, I'll take that. All right, $500. Place $500 in front of you. That is a bet. You, my friend, have the break. Break some balls and good luck. That, Blair. that is a textbook break right there. He made the three and the eight ball. But look at the one ball behind the four. Now he can push out here. Push. Can you push? Uh, pushes the right move. He's going to push the what cue ball somewhere on the table. This is normally an illegal shot. The first incoming player after the break can do just that, push out. And now Julie has the opportunity. Guess to give it back to Blair. So it looks like on that push, he knew he was going to get the shot back, and he set himself up better. Yeah, I'm, I don't quite understand it, but apparently Ooh. he saw that coming. I think it was a little tactical error. I wouldn't have not have pushed out to where he was, but... That know. was a foul, because he didn't hit the one ball, so you do get ball in hand. She gets in this two. She's in perfect position to take this home. Oh, she didn't. She came up short. She was a little, a little scared there. Not impossible, Sal, but she's got a lot of work. She's got to cut this backwards. Have the cue ball come around. Three rails. One, two, and it hit 
the seven, not good. Not good. All right. Yeah, she's got a bank to hold the cue ball. Ooh. Oh, so close. What is your strategy like when you're, when you're cold, you haven't been up yet like Julie? Does the player who's been playing have an advantage? Absolutely. Getting to know the speed of the table a little bit, getting to know the pockets, getting to know how the rails react. Every table is a hair different. So he's in a good spot again. This is her second opportunity at the same rack with a great opening. I was really concentrating on the game. From what I've seen so far, these are some of the most talented players we've had so far. Well, it looks like our players have, uh, they got a little bit of confidence in her game. Good, that's nerves, baby. Well, that would have been a nice bet for somebody. Draw the cue ball. Low, super low spin. Draw it all the way back. How sweet it is. Getting a little too far, but that's still all right. You still got a good shot at the six. I'm looking a little concerned right now. He's concerned with his scratch in the side. Watch Ooh. out. There it was. I am sitting next to a prophetess, America. Now, ball in hand for Julie. Do you realize this is the third time she stepped into this kind of a sweet situation now she has to put these away now this is what you call a cosmo ball in hand on ball one seven ball is by the next pocket the nine is almost hanging in the corner and she knows it's a cosmo and a cosmo meaning easy run out. easy run easy out. run out. should be out oh she wants that to hurry oh boy hi julie hey what's up you make $4,000 on this shot. Yeah, boy. Five, look at April. That's $500. You She's like, hey, girl, get my back, <laughs> girl. Got you got this? I got this. All right. Good luck. <laughs> Michigan's in the house. Where? Bring her the money. Thank you. Things are just starting to get interesting. We will keep the balls rolling right after this. Julie has 7,500. Blair and Joey are tied at 4,500. And April has 3,500. All right, only one person left for you to play, that being Joey. Don't underestimate Joey by any means. How much? A thousand. Oh. All right, let's play for a thousand. I uh, DJ on the side, but most of my income's all from hustle and pool. I look so young, so, you know, they don't, they don't ever see me coming. Just tell them, you know, I gotta be home at 10 o'clock. You know, I got school tomorrow. I think I'm better than anybody here. My strategy is to play good and bet a lot. <laughs> One thing you gotta remember is the two players with the lowest bank rolls at the end of this game are gonna play in an elimination game. Side action. Oh, yeah, you know it's coming. April. Blair, I bet you, you just made 500. You're feeling good. Take uh, Joey over here. The bet is on. The bet is on. The bet is on. All right, there we go. On. Joey, you yes. can take a piece of this if you'd like. Yeah, I'll, yeah. Take, a, I'll take a five hundred dollars sweat bet. Oh, April, sweat you want that? Bet. All right, you got it. All right, five hundred. Come on, Julie. Woo. Julie, a lot of pressure. Good luck. Break some balls, girl. On the cue ball. That scratch is a ball in hand for Joey. And this is the first time that we're seeing Joey, the DJ. I'll bet you 500 you don't run out. 500 I don't run out? 500 you don't you run out. You got a bet. You taking that bet? All right. Ooh, that is a bet. 20 years old, he says he's never really had a real job. Just DJs and shoots pool on the hustle. I wish I had his problems. Can't be a tough life, can it? Yeah, that's a rough life. All right, now he's got $500 on himself for this run out. 
What does the Viking say about his chances? The Viking says that if he's indeed telling the truth and that that's what he's doing, then he's got a great shot here. Look out for the eight. He overdrew it, Sal. He overdrew it. Way too far behind that eight. He wanted to be about a foot shorter, have a nice angle on the five. And now all of a sudden, he went from huge favorite to running out to a big underdog. He's got to hope he gets lucky here. Oh, he almost made that five ball in the side pocket, but instead, look at this. Well, you got to give him. You got to give him a serious A for effort, correct? Joey, I'm gonna let you shoot that one. Let me shoot you know what? Yep. He's gonna get back to the table because Julie can't see the fire. Come on, Joey, you up for another bet? April just made $1,000 on that runout bet. I bet you another 500 he's not running out from here either. How about I bet you five that I jumped this ball in? How's that sound? Ooh, I like that. Oh, what do you say, here April? comes the jump cue. What do you say, April? I'm gonna take that. You're taking that bet. I like that. Get him, girl. He's rolling. I like this kid. It's not an easy cut. He's got to hit this ball really thin to make it. It doesn't have a lot of margin of error. I have a feeling he's going to get over that eight. But is he going to be able to hit it just right? Oh. No. And April picks her spots. And this is a foul ball in hand for you, Julie. Come on, Julie. You know, Julie is doing something right in life because she's playing two guys who can really play the game, and both of them have given her golden opportunities to really take advantage and make something happen. How much money has April made in side betting? I wonder. <laughs> it's a big part of the game. Uh oh, look at this. Julie, big, big, huge mental error. That was, she just mentally dogged it right there. Kick at it. She didn't scratch, but next worst thing happened. Open, almost straight in shot now for Joey. Look at this. I was going to say you might get out here, Sal, but I'll take out that. Nice <laughs> 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 yeah. shot. Joey, we're in a very interesting situation here. If you win this game, it's going to give you $4,000. Blair also has $4,000, at which point you guys are going to have to lag for who plays in the elimination round. Yeah. Yeek a mouse. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Magic. That was perfect speed. Great shot. Look at that position, Sal. Back the game at gsn.com. Welcome back to Ball Breakers. Joey and Blair are tied with five grand each, so they're gonna have to lag to see who will face April in the elimination game. The player who lands closest to the cushion wins, and it is. Looks like Blair is safe from the elimination round. Only the winner of this game is going to move on to the second round of the tournament. The loser, going home. April, you are all in. Yep. Joey, you break it, buddy. Good luck. Look what a powerful break that is. The size of Joey, I mean, that's amazing. He can't be more than 130 pounds wet. <laughs> I'll bet you 1,500 you don't run out. 1,500 I don't run out. Yep. Julie got in the game. You got a bet. All right. $1,500 on the run out. Well done. One down. I don't know if he's getting in the 
four to the five. From the pink ball all the way to the other side of the table to the five. And he needs to have a really good angle on that. So he's working his way backwards. Oh, oh wow. And Julie makes $3,000 just like that. A tough shot. Shh. Oh, she, well, she went for it, but no good. And look at this. Right now, her luck may just have run out. A lot of green here, Sal, but he's got a great spot to make this four in the right corner. Yeah. Oh. oh. Man, what do you call My dog in it, huh? That ball just rattled right in the pocket. It's a rattler, and he pretty much dogged it all at the same time. I mean, he should have definitely made that ball. She's in a good spot here. She needs to draw this ball. She's, she should be drawing this ball off the eight ball. No, I didn't understand that shot at all. She had the perfect opportunity to have that eight ball help her draw the cue ball up to the five. Come on, Joey. Come on, Joey. Come on, Joey. And now we'll see if Joey can hold it together. He clearly has game, but this pressure is getting to him. It's pretty obvious. He's made some pretty big misses so far. Oh, it's perfect. That's just perfect. And how has he left himself for the five? It looks like he's going for the bridge. He's going for the bridge, but this is an easy shot with the bridge. Seven's right there. He doesn't have to do anything. This should be a hanger out right here. He should have no problem running the table at this point. Those three balls positioned really nice for Joey. And Joey's a little guy, but he says that his, his main approach to the game is to stay aggressive. Which can get you really far, but you can't go all the way in this game if you don't play the defense well. So this suits him just fine. Very methodical, another methodical player with his approach to the... And this approach works pretty well. He's taking his time. Joey. Let's let let's say you this won twenty thousand dollars today. What would you do with the money? Hmm. I use it to play in tournaments, pro events, and uh, I don't know. Buy my niece some toys. Buy your niece some toys. Oh, it's, it's Joey from Jersey. Make, make the ball in. Ah. You, you, you love it. You, you gotta love that answer. I don't know if he rehearsed it. Nice to be somebody's hero. April, thanks again for coming out. All right, we're going to crank things up another notch with one of the little devious thing we like to call the shotgun game. Whoever wins will get all important control of the table to start round two. I'll see you right back here. Julie has herself at eight grand. Joey. $7,000, and Blair, you got five grand. Now, since you guys have automatically moved up into this round, we have to determine who will get the table control. So you will play a shotgun game that we like to call Yellow Jacket. Who better to tell us about Yellow Jacket than the striking Viking, Miss Ava Mataloy? We've racked six balls with black ones in each of the corners. Now, our players must sink the black balls in the shortest amount of time. If a player scratches or fouls, an additional 10 seconds will be added to their time. And remember, if you go second, you have to beat the first player's time. Let's do this, Sal. Okay, Miss Julie, you have the most money. You have the choice to go first or second. Um, I'm gonna go first. You're gonna go first. All right. Go! Julie breaks, makes a long shot in the corner. Oh, nice. Shot. Nice one in the side. And look at this, straight on home. 25 seconds, where? You gotta beat 25 seconds. Nice break, and he gets one in right here, side pocket. 
Makes a nice cut Go right here. Six. And taps this last one in. Now, what that means is that you have won table control and the right to the first challenge here in round two. Now, a couple of things change. First off, minimum bets in this round are $2,000. No bets can be refused, only accepted or raised. If no balls are pocketed on the break, then the other player will get ball in hand. If everybody is still in at the end of this round, Again, the two players with the lowest bankroll will play in the elimination game. Now, who are you going to play and for how much? <laughs> Julie's got 8,000. Joey's got 7,000. You got five. I'll All play in. Joey. How much? 2,000. 2,000. 2,000. 2,000. Joey, $2,000. You want to take it or raise it? Yeah, I want to take it. You got any side action? Yeah, I'd like to bet on Joey. Yeah. Really? How much? Um, two Two thousand. Uh, I'll go with a thousand. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! All right. A thousand. A thousand dollars it is. That's a bet. Do you want to break? I'll break. Man's got confidence in himself. We'll take it. Good luck, Blair. Nice, solid break by Blair. Is he gonna make anything? Oh six. There goes the six corner pocket. Cuts in this one ball nicely. Ooh, just jaws the two. See what Joey can do. He steps up, makes that two ball. Long shot on the three. Threw the cue ball too far. Left himself a bank on the four, no problem. Straight shot on the five. He sneaks the seven right past the eight. Oh, gets the eight ball with the bridge. Sets up for the nine and $4,000. And oh, he just makes it. I did. He did a little ding, 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 boom, and back in. For the fans. And amidst the chance of Joey, Joey, Blair will bring you your $4,000. Good job. Good job. Man, oh, man. Congratulations, Joey. Coming up next, round two continues, and someone else may be knocked out of the game. Don't go anywhere. Take back the game at GSN.com. Tied in first with nine thousand dollars, and Claire just got two thousand. You know where we stand right now. You got to play Miss Julie. The only question: How much? You're both at nine grand. Three thousand. Put them all in. All in. All in. How about five? Five thousand. You, you gotta accept it. You got it. Five thousand dollars. It is. You're gonna need to go get another thousand dollars. Woo! That's big money. Damn. Remember, if everybody is still in at the end of this game, then the two players with the lowest bankroll will face off in another elimination game. We got that? Got it. All right. You're I'll breaking? Break. Yeah. You got confidence? Break. All right. Good luck. Why? Made the one and the six on the break. I like his personality, Sal. I like his intensity. And I mean, he's really in the moment. Shoot the combo on the seven. Ooh. Oh. Not good. Not good. Here comes Julie, and she's ready. Nice layout right here. We have not seen Julie in a while. But that doesn't mean that she hasn't been watching. One thing about this girl that I've seen, shrewd and focused. All right, there you go. Well done. Great position on this three, and she just wants to draw it back to the four. Now, they both want this $10,000, and they are pretty much maxed out where they are. And she drew that back, but you know what? She got a little straight than she wanted. She's going to have to pull out the mega stroke here. Look at really low. In the eyes. Watch the cue ball scoot the other direction. After contact. That's got to go nowhere near enough draw on that cue ball. She hit it a little too high and not smooth and strong enough stroke. 
when she plays, her parents have driven up to 10 hours to go and watch her play a match. Look at this bank. Can it get by the eight? Can it get by the eight? How well is she playing? Excuse me. And now we see a rare bit of excitement, emotion. Coming from Julie, this would be a great time for Joey to try and get in her head. But he's standing there he's being rather respectful. Being very respectful. Like, I'd admire him for that. He's letting her do his th her thing. And he, and, oh my gosh, it's for her to give away right now. And look what she just did. Oh, that is devastating sound. She had not a road map there to get out. The balls were wide open. And, and she was like, got in about the only place you could get where you don't have a shot. She's gonna have to kick it. She's kicking it in the other corner. Watch this. Oh. Mm. She got a double hit on the cue, and oh, she is sick right now. It, it was hers for the taking. Joey, oh, man. Ball in hand. What in the world did she just do? She tried kicking the cue ball into the side rail and then hitting the eight, but the cue ball was so close to the cushion that it came back and hit the cue. $10,000 shot, my friend. $10,000 shot. This is gonna put you in the round three, no problem. You'll be sitting on $14,000 cash. Simple math, that's only six grand away from 20. Good luck. Thank you. You, my friend, are on a little bit of a hot streak. Congratulations right there. That scratch cost you 5,000 bucks. Can you carry it on? Can you hold it all on yourself? Good God. Look at all that money. In just a few minutes, more money changing hands, and one more play is going bye bye. We'll find out who when we return. Welcome back. After her loss last game, Julie must now play Blair in the round two elimination game. You've got more money, so you can either take the break right now or pass it over to Blair. What do you want to do? Take I'm going to take the break. You're going to take the break? All right. Game is on. Right now, we're going to find out which one of you is heading to the finals. Good luck to the both of you. She's sick. She is sick, and she could either hide her head or she can snap out of it, do what she knows. She knows how to play. I mean, this, this woman can really play, and that was just a mental mistake. She let the cue ball go in the last game. How do you leave that mistake behind you? That's actually one of the toughest things in this game, and I guess any, any sport is to let go of the mistake you just made, but it's also about the most important thing that you have to learn how to control. You just get back in the moment again and just look at that one spot on the one ball that you need to hit and just refocus. She's gonna hit this with a little bit of left spin here. Go across and back out. Nice speed shot here for the four. That's perfect. See the speed she's playing with now? She's just loosening up and just going on the attack. Just kill the cue ball a little bit right here. Have it come off the rail just a little bit. Give yourself an angle or just leave it straight in for the five. Oh, she jumped out. Did you see how high she jumped up on that ball? Yeah. She was almost halfway to standing up before the ball left her cue. What kind of shot did she leave Blair? Well, thin cut or a bank, tough either way. Oh, sweet. Oh, he's not going to like it. He's not going to like it. The six ball showed up just in time to make that into a bit of a nightmare here. This Sounds like a nice time to, to, to find out what you'd do with $20,000, given the opportunity to win here today, sir. Well, I want to uh, let my wife make the decision, but uh, there's going to be a portion of that donated to multiple sclerosis. Oh. To the multi multiple sclerosis. Why is that? Uh, because I have multiple sclerosis. <laughs> really? Wow, man. Yeah. All right. Good luck. Thanks. Good luck to you. Come on, man. Come on, man. This is, this is tough. This is tough. It's got to really jump this high. It's got to get up in the air. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> That's one of the most incredible things I've ever seen. Viking. That was an unbelievable shot, keeping the cue ball from flying off the table, jumping that was it high, than the ball that's on the rail, and making it, Sal. Well, he's won a lot of hearts here, I gotta tell you that, and with uh, After you make a shot like that, uh, can you be stopped? Well, I think he could have been stopped on that uh, at, on that six ball. You know, we've seen it so many times where you make that big shot, the adrenaline gets to you, but after he made the six. I don't think he can be stopped in this game. I have no worries about this nine going down. You are the man. That was awesome. <laughs> Let's hear it for Julie, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for coming. Happy that. There is still money left on the table, and somebody's going to need to get that and the table control. We'll see who's going to get it done when Ball Breakers continue. Balls. Joey, you got $14,000. Big Blair, $4,000 for you. It's not as much as him, but it's still money. You're still alive. Now, both you guys have controlled the game so far, but now it's time for you to get the all-important control of the table, plus the $2,000 that Julie left behind as we head into the final round. You guys want to control the table, right? Yeah. Okay, well, to do that, we're going to have to play one of our shotgun games, and this one is called Elevator. Ava? Well, it's called elevator because the five balls on the table will be going up and down, and only a bank shot off the foot of the table and back into the kitchen can sink them. Now, the player who makes the most balls wins the game. If a player misses, fouls, or makes a ball in another pocket, that ball does not count and is removed from the table. And remember, if you go second, you have to beat the first player's score to win. The striking Viking has spoken. Joey, you have $14,000. Clearly, you are in the lead. You can make the choice. Do you want to go first, or do you want to pass it over to Blair? Ladies first. Whoa! Whoa! The words from Jersey right at New York. How do you deal with that insult? I've never seen a lady this size before. Do what you have to do. Do what you have to do. Players must bank the balls in to get the points. Gets the first one, no problem. Gets the second, looking pretty smooth. But on the third one, a little bit off the mark. And that just became a pattern as he misses the fourth one here, but fortunately makes the last one, and that is three balls total. Joey! You have to get four. Good luck. Joey misses this first one here. And oh, a miss cue on the second one. That'll make it impossible for him to beat Blair. $2,000 to the big man, Blair, who you like to call the lady. That gives you $6,000. Plus, you have got table control. Well, ladies and gentlemen, dudes and bros, it all comes down to this. $20,000 is going home with one of these guys. We're going to play three games or until we get a winner. If no one has won by then, then we will play the winner-take-all game, all in for $20,000. Now, Blair, you've got control, man. Come on over here. It is all in for the player with the least amount of money. That is you. That's me. $6,000. But we have seen you do some big things today, <laughs> haven't we? All right. Now, to make things interesting, we have definitely upped the ante in the third round. From now on, every time a player misses a shot, his opponent gets ball in hand and can put the cue ball anywhere he wants on the table, unless, of course, it is a shot on the nine. That being said, do you want to break or pass it back to your buddy there from Jersey? I'll break. He's breaking! Good luck, my friends. Show them why we call the game ball breaking, please. You could cut the tension in here with a butter knife. 
Look at this break he pulled off when he had the three balls on the brakes out. One ball passes into the corner. You can see it right there. And what he's going to have to do is just either stop it right there and shoot the four and down in the opposite long corner or draw it back and shoot the four or five combo. Or he can draw into the four. He's got a few different options here. There you go. Smart way to go. Just play that combination. Combo is easy. Joey has to win. He only has to win this one game to send Blair home. Blair's got to win at least two. And he was looking good here, but he made the combo, but he let the four ball go a little bit. He's going to have to dig deep. He's got to bank it in. Oh, that is so close. That is ball in hand for you, Joey, my man. I don't know which player to root for. We both have got such great stories. Four balls I'm going for 20,000. I'm going to remain totally neutral on this game. I've been jinxing people anyway, so I wouldn't want you rooting for me, <laughs> So I think that's a good idea. It's not my intention. Either, Leave know. these guys alone. I know. Look at the balls left on the table. There's only four balls left on the table. How hard is this going to this is another Cosmo. This should be pretty much of an automatic out from a player of Joey's caliber. He get up himself. Great angle here. All he has to do now, Sal, is make the seven. He doesn't have to do anything with the cue ball. Just roll the seven down Three to more. the end rail for the eight. He can also slam it and hit center ball. It depends on how he feels. Rolling yeah. it down. Joey, you are two shots away from $20,000. Your dream is to take it on the road. Good luck. Thanks, Sal. Oh, Sal, he's so close to that 20 grand. All he has to do here is roll this eight ball in. He's got the perfect angle. The cue ball's going to go up. Play the nine ball in the opposite corner. Get up there. Get up. I've enjoyed both of these players oh, so much. Great, yeah. so this has been an amazing, amazing match. I don't know what runs through your mind at this point. Oh, this is your heart's pounding so hard. And he came up short of being perfect. He wanted to be straight is in on this nine. Is no, he he's definitely going to cut it. He's definitely going to cut it. But it's a hair tougher than he wanted it to be for 20 grand. player Carrie Walsh. Watch me on an all new season of Extreme Dodgeball on GSM. The impact is back. Extreme Dodgeball. New season, new captains. Next on GSN, the network for games.